A small town takes on a big battle about gun control tonight. It started with a move to relax gun laws in Oak Harbor, and it's turned into an example of gun debates going on in communities all across the country. King 5's Eric Wilkinson joins us live in Oak Harbor, where a lot of people will be watching a city council vote tonight. Right, Eric? Any bringing their guns to make their point and share some strong opinions with city council. I ask that Mr. Wahlberg, Mr. Cervadius, you immediately resign. And Packed into City Hall, many packing heat. Citizens of Oak Harbor lined up to make their voices heard. I would challenge any council member who is unwilling to fulfill their oath. I first want to thank everybody for coming out. From the get-go, you could tell this was no ordinary city council meeting. I'm very involved in my community, and since I was 21, I've carried a firearm. Just one look around this room, and it was obvious these people were here to talk about their guns. Sir, my mother was a Jew. My family went to the chambers. I will not go into the night quietly while these two ask me to board the train. Have a question, Mayor? Okay. Councilman Armour. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mayor. You know, the gentleman said that he is carries a weapon all of the time for protection. Would you please ask him if he is armed right now? Well, I guess the question is, would it matter? It does to me. Well. Ask the question. No. I'll turn to our city attorney and, and ask, do we, do we have to ask? This is the time set aside uh, for the council to uh, accept citizen comments. Uh, I'm not sure that there's anything in your council rules of procedure that invite the council to ask questions in return, but if the individual's w willing to answer the question, that's fine. But um, this is a time for, for citizens to address the council, not, not the other way around. Um, I'm fully comfortable answering that question. Uh, yes, I have a concealed carry permit, and I am concealed carrying at this moment. Um, I would hope that people felt comfortable with that due to the fact that I am a trained professional with a weapon, and I served my country for over five years in Afghanistan, uh, sustained wounds uh, in protection of those rights, and, and if there was an issue, I would protect any person, whether I knew him or not, with my own life. Um, so I hope you feel comfortable with that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I'm going to make a Thank motion. You. If we have somebody who is in the chambers armed, it's not necessary. I'll make a motion that we ask them to check their weapon with the police chief or to the police department. This is my motion. Or to, to leave the premise. That's my motion, and I'm waiting for a second. Second. We have a motion on the floor, and... All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. 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 Okay. And so that motion does not pass. Thank Council you, Mayor. If I may, I'll excuse myself at this time then. Thank you. Absolutely. Hold on. Council Member Campbell. I'd like to say something to this. Uh, a couple of council members who tried to pass a motion in reference to uh, firearms uh, not being allowed in council chambers. Uh, can you touch on the legality, uh, uh, if that were to have passed, uh, what the legality of that would have been? Because of the uh, the uh, preemption in state law, uh, as I think I may have alluded to uh, earlier in the meeting tonight, um, such an action would likely be uh, uh, invalid and un unenforceable, and and uh, likely would not be a lawful directive in the event the police chief or others were asked to to enforce <coughs> such action. But s since such action was not taken, it. Uh, yeah essentially becomes moot. Yeah. Well, and that's, 
Yeah, that's exactly what um, it seems to be the the understanding. But um, the the and I, I apologize mm -hmm. to is it Luke, Lucas Shelfont. Um, Oh, is it Yonkman? I apologize. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Yonkman. Um, I apologize for the, um, you know, for the situation where in this case um, we have a couple council members and these were the same council members that also tried to dictate whether you were able to wear a hat uh, in council chambers. Now we're trying to take your right uh, to bear arms away. Um, you know, they're stating that uh, you know, whether it's they're fearful or uh, uncomfortable uh, because of your attendance, uh, I, on the other hand, uh, feel safer that you are here. Um, you know, if, if we were to play out hypotheticals in, in reference to an elected official being concerned about uh, somebody uh, harming uh, it's it's not going to be coming from the likes of you, and so I appreciate your attendance this evening. Uh, it, I think it definitely opens the eyes of the public in reference to how some elected officials um, are choosing to go up and beyond the scope uh, of their elected uh, position to uh, take away your rights. As a council member. Um, we end up having to take an oath. This, this was my oath when I was on the city council. Um, we as council members have to solemnly swear or affirm that we uh, would support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington. Uh, that we would faithfully and impartially perform and, and, dis, and discharge the duties of the office of uh, council member of the city of Oak Harbor. Um, and we have to swear to that, that we take that oath. Uh, this evening, we had a couple council members that were doing just the opposite. Um, and so I apologize for that possible action. I, I'm glad we didn't get to that point. Um, but uh, once again, uh, I, I apologize for you having to go through that. Uh, you, you took it in great stride. You, you didn't have to answer the questions by some council members. You still chose to do that. Um, but uh, that being said, uh, we need to remember the oath that we took, whether it's as a mayor, whether it's as city council members, um, that we are not able to, no matter how much you want to, infringe on the rights of others. We, that's not our job. You not able to do that. Um, so, that being said, Councilmember Campbell, make a motion we adjourn. Okay, we got a motion to adjourn.